Chris, there are many people in our society that are dealing with addictions, whether that's drugs, alcohol, gambling. Are there any strategies you can offer them? First of all, it helps if people bolster their readiness to change. So think of your reasons for changing compared to your reasons for not changing, because that can help you think why it's so important to you. It helps to let someone know, like let a partner or friends know that you're looking to make this change. So you get support. That's right. And then it helps to monitor, for example, count up the number of cigarettes or standard drinks someone's having in a day. It helps to reduce your access uh, to, for example, alcohol. Don't drive home past that bottle shop, mm. for example, if that's where people pick up the alcohol. But the biggest tip, actually, is learning to engage in what we call urge surfing. Urge surfing is when someone gets an urge or a craving to have, say, a cigarette or uh, alcohol. Now, people might think the urge will build up and just stay there forever, but it doesn't. The urge increases, but over time, it might be something like uh, half an hour or whatever, it'll tend to level off and then come down. When people get through that urge, get through that wave, if you like, and to the other side, people can get more confidence that they can get through it. So part of it then is start somewhere and give yourself a pat on the back for each time you take a step. That's a really good point. So ride out that wave. Ride out that wave, yeah. It's a bit like labour, isn't it? Yeah, Not that basically. you felt that. Yeah. <laughs>